All right, everybody, Jeff here from Bicycle Warehouse, here to talk to you today about CO2 inflators. I'm going to talk today about the Control Blast Zero. This one's my favorite, and I'll tell you why. The easiest way to get yourself rolling after a flat is with the CO2 inflator here. I particularly like this one because you can control the flow of the CO2 with this valve here, and it very easily threads onto your Presta valve right there. Things to note here that with the standard road tire, you'll need one CO2 canister to fill your 25C tire up to about 90 PSI. And for your mountain bike tires, they're bigger volume, uh, so you're going to need at least two canisters here. So something to think about, I always keep at least two canisters in my pack so I can get the proper PSI on the side of the road. All right, so it's super simple to use. Uh, before threading your CO2 canister onto the inflator, we want to make sure that the valve is fully closed. Then we thread the CO2 onto the inflator, break the seal. Now I'm ready to go. Now I thread this onto my Presta valve. And then with this valve here, I open the flow of the CO2 and it inflates the tube. Once it's fully inflated, then I simply unthread the inflator from the tube. All right, something to keep in mind here. I think it's important to always carry a frame pump with you in addition to the CO2s. The CO2s are always gonna be my go-to way for inflation on the side of the road in case of a flat. But on a really bad day and you get multiple flats and you run out of CO2s, you gotta have that frame pump with you too. So something to think about. I wanna make sure you guys are always prepared in the case of a flat. So keep watching our videos. I'm gonna do some more product reviews. Thanks for watching.